Before we start, you won't need the coal mentioned till much later into the quest, so keep that banked for now. To begin the quest, you must have received a message from King Lathias's messenger, typically a few minutes after the underground quest. But regardless if you still have the message or not, as long as you've received it at some point in time, go ahead and speak to King Lathias located here on the map. Head upstairs and speak to King Lathias. Now in order to continue, you basically need to reach the endpoint of the Underground Pass quest where you killed Ivan. This is a, of course, a long trek through the Underground Pass. Of course, if you already know your way there, skip to the timestamp on screen now, or keep watching as we go through it together. If you're all geared up and ready, head to the area located here on the map. Take the northern path. Speak to Coptic to receive a cloth. Use said cloth on an arrow. Head just to your north. Right click your arrow and light it. Then shoot the rope bridge. Head southeast. And use your rope on the old spike. It's a little tricky to see. You might have to zoom in. Continue along the path. Now unfortunately, I can't help you much here as the solution is different for everyone. It's basically a trial and error test to the end. If you fall, simply click on the wall and keep looking for the path. Once you're over, pull the lever and continue along the path. Search the old markings on the wall to disable the traps. There are four in total. You could just run through the traps. They don't add too much damage. Climb down the well. Enter the southeast most cell and dig through the mound of dirt. Cross a ledge. If you fail, simply dig through the mound of dirt again. Next, take the same obstacles as I do. Now pause. If you have 50 thieving, head to the east. If not, take the western path heading north. They both lead you to the same path, but the western side has a few more obstacles, meaning a few extra chances of failing. Squeeze through the pipe.
and third eternal. Now this area is just one long path, so just keep moving forward. Add the blank to the trap. You're now in the main area. Head to the area located here on the map. Make sure your run is on and take the same path as I do. You can now continue with the quest. Enter the well inside of the temple. And exit through the western side. Continue along the path and you'll be stopped by an elf. Now if he doesn't pop up for some reason, go ahead and lobby and log back in again. Jump the nearby leaves. And head west. and pass this stick trap. Now before you do anything, head south and activate the lodestone. That way you never have to go through the underground pass again. After activating the lodestone, head northwest along the same path I do. Jump the leaves. Walk a log and speak to Lord Ierworth. After the conversation, head to the lodestone you just activated. You will find an elf tracker nearby. Talk to him. Then head north and talk to Lord Ierworth once again. Make sure you have at least one free inventory spot. And once again, speak to the elf tracker one last time. Next, head west and investigate some footsteps nearby. Speak to the elf tracker again. And now enter the dense forest, just beside the footsteps. You'll be attacked by a guard, simply slay it. and continue along the path. Now right next to you there is a trap. Go ahead and right click and jump the wire.
enter more dense forest, and head to the camp just here west. Find and speak to General Hining. Now very important, after the conversation, head behind one of the buildings and you will find an empty barrel. Go ahead and take one. Now if you plan to do Morning's End Part 1 quest as well later on, go ahead and take an extra barrel with you as you will need a barrel of naphtha, which is what we're going to make for Morning Zen Part 1 as well. Now with your barrel or barrels, go ahead and speak to Lord Ierworth once again. You will receive a book, make sure to read it all the way through. Pick up the empty pot near him. Next head to the Tywin Lodestone. Now just to your south, you go ahead and use your barrel on the tar pit. It's a little tricky to click, watch exactly where I click. Next pick up some sulfur and grind it. Next head to any furnace. Use your limestone on it to obtain some quick lime. Next, go ahead and bank. This is the part where you need the coal. So go ahead and bank any food or unnecessary items. This is my inventory moving forward. Make sure you have your book with you or the quest will not update. Then head to Remington to the area located here on the map. Speak to the chemist and choose the chat options on screen. Next, head outside and use your bucket of tar on the machine. Now before we move ahead, I suggest you watch how I do this first, that way you don't burn through any resources with uncertainty. To start, click on the right valve twice, then the left one once the bar gauge is on the green. Next add coal to the furnace slowly. You want to keep the right gauge hovering around the green. It'll fluctuate a bit, so don't be too lean or too greedy. Once the bar is green, you're done. Before we move ahead, again, if you plan on doing Morning Zen Part 1, go ahead and make another barrel of naphtha if you wish, especially since the method is now fresh in your mind. Moving forward, grind the quicklime in your inventory, then follow these exact instructions on screen. If followed correctly, you should have a bomb. Next, head through the dense forest once again and head just north of the camp. You will see a large catapult. Very carefully, right click your cooked rabbit then use it on the Tyrus Guard. Use the bomb on the catapult and you'll get a cutscene.
and for the last time, go ahead and speak to Lord Ierworth. Wrapping up this quest, head back to the castle where you started the quest. Upon entering the castle, you will be stopped by a elf. After the conversation, speak to King Lathias upstairs. Quest complete.